In this video, I will show you how to take a vector where you're given the magnitude and the direction and break it apart into its horizontal and vertical components. For example one, a soccer ball is moving at a rate of 45 feet per second at an angle of 12 degrees with the horizontal. So there's your magnitude and direction. After 1.3 seconds, what is the height of the ball? So the height of the ball, that's just going to be the vertical component. So that's why we're going to have to split this vector part into its horizontal and vertical components. So let's draw ourselves a diagram. So here's the y-axis and the x-axis. We'll draw a vector to represent the velocity of the soccer ball. So the soccer ball velocity has a magnitude of 45 feet per second. This is not a distance, this is a speed. At an angle of 12 degrees, that's the direction. And uh, for what we are doing, the calculations we do, just keep in mind that the direction always needs to be measured from the positive x-axis before you do the calculations I'm about to show you. Now let's uh, turn this into a triangle because the triangle will reveal the horizontal and vertical components that we have. So if I want to find the horizontal component, I can use the formula R cosine theta, where r is the magnitude and theta is the direction. If I want the vertical component, I will do r sine theta. So in this case, the magnitude is 45. So that's 45 cosine 12 is the direction, 12 degrees. And then r sine theta will be the vertical component of this vector. So that would be 45 sine 12. So you can evaluate this in a calculator. Let's see, 45 cosine 12. So 45 cosine 12. Make sure you're in degree mode. <coughs> and 45 sine 12. So here we have the horizontal and vertical components of the vector. So 44.02, and this is feet per second, and what was it, um, 9.36 feet per second. Okay, so vertically, um, this is the part that we need to answer the rest of the question uh, because the vertical speed of the soccer ball is this 9.36 feet per second. That's the vertical speed of the soccer ball. So if I want to know um, how high the ball is, what's the height of the ball after 1.3 seconds, well, they gave us the hint that distance equals rate times time. Okay, so the height should equal the rate times the time. So the, uh, the speed is this 9.36 feet per second, and the time is 1.3 seconds. So um, if I multiply the, the rate times the time, that should give me the distance or the height in this case. So that's 12.17 feet. Okay, that's the answer for number one. 
Now look at number two. A ball is thrown with an initial velocity of 70 feet per second at an angle of 35 degrees. Now this time they simply want us to find the vertical and horizontal components of this velocity. So let's make another diagram similar to what we did before. <clears throat> 70 feet at an angle of 35 degrees. Okay, so this uh, velocity of 70 feet and at an angle of 35 degrees. So when we talk about the magnitude and the direction, r comma theta, um, that's the 70 feet is the magnitude and 35 degrees is the direction. This is the r and this is the theta. So I can separate this vector into its horizontal and vertical components using the formula r cosine theta comma r sine theta. That will give me the horizontal component and then the vertical component. So r cosine theta in this case will be 70 cosine 35 and r sine theta will be 70 sine 35. So we can just evaluate that in our calculator. So 70 cosine 35 and 70 sine 35. And there you have it. So 57.34. Uh, that's the horizontal component. And um, this is feet per second. And 40.15. And that's it. So we have separated the vector into its horizontal and vertical components. I just noticed that I had accidentally written feet here. It should be feet per second.